Matthew chapter 11, beginning to read at verse 25. At that time, Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this is what you were pleased to do. All things have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. 
This sounds like the Victorian serving girl's epitaph. Don't grieve for me now, don't grieve for me never. I'm going to do nothing for ever and ever. But it's not really like that. Jesus was referring back to the words of the prophet Jeremiah. This is what the Lord says. Stand at the crossroads and look. Ask for the ancient paths. Ask where the good way is and walk in it. And you will find rest for your souls. Here it is obvious that the rest is to be found in finding the good way and walking in it. And Jesus had the same thing in mind. By taking his yoke upon us, by obeying him and serving him in the way he requires, we will find rest. Not the rest of doing nothing for ever and ever, but the rest, the peace of mind, that comes from knowing you are doing God's will, that you are headed for his glorious heavenly kingdom and that you have his presence with you day by day to guide and help. In the old days of steam trains, on hills an engine would get a push from another engine called a tank engine. It didn't mean the first engine could stop work, but it did mean it didn't have to do all the work. The two engines worked together. Jesus gives us our work to do. He requires us to take his yoke upon us, but he doesn't ask us to do it by ourselves. He gives us the Holy Spirit as a second engine as Thomas the Tang Engine, to give us a push and to give us the strength and the gifts we need for the work he gives us to do. Therefore, let us come to Jesus, weary and burdened as we are. Let us take his yoke upon us. Let us learn from him, from his teaching and his example. And let us serve him and follow him in the strength he provides through the Holy Spirit. That we may find rest, peace of mind for our souls here and now. And in the world to come, rest eternal. Amen. voice of Jesus say, Come unto me and rest. Lay down the weary one, lay down thy head upon my breast. I came to Jesus as I was, weary and worn and sad. I found in him a resting place, and he has made me glad. I heard the voice of Jesus say, Behold, I freely give the living water, thirsty one, stoop down, and drink and live. I came to Jesus and I drank of that life-giving stream. My thirst was quenched, my soul revived, and now I live in Him. I heard the voice of Jesus say, 
for on this dark world's light. Look unto me, thy morn shall rise, and all thy day be bright. I looked to Jesus, and I found in him my star, my son. And in that light of life I'll walk till travelling days are done. Life can be draining. We are often under pressure. We go through times of stress and we carry difficult burdens. Jesus says that if we come to him, he will give us rest. He wants to help you. He calls to you when you are sleeping, weeping, keeping awake, when tiredness drains. I am with you. When you are crying, sighing, trying to concentrate when confusion reigns, I am with you. When you are struggling, juggling, muddling through when ability wanes, I am with you. Do you feel that you don't know what to say? I am the word. Draw close to me. Do you feel that you no longer understand the world? I was there when the world was formed. Draw close to me. Does each step feel as though you are wading through mud? I, too, have walked on this earth. Draw close to me. Do you feel that everything goes against you? I have been condemned. Draw close to me. Do you feel the weight of life getting too much? I carried my cross for you. Draw close to me. Do you feel that no one is there for you? I have been alone. Draw close to me. Come to me. I will give you rest. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us always. Amen.